Tyson's sixth bout against Larry Sims on the 19th July 1985 resulted in another knockout for his glowing record. The 19-year-old fighter's frantic schedule was set by manager Jimmy Jacobs, and less than a month later, he was back in the ring, ready for fight number seven against Lorenzo Kennedy. Mostly, when I, as soon as the fight starts, I'm in the dressing room, I'm coming towards. I basically think I'm staying relaxed. I've been doing this for five years, and I put in so much time, and I, I mostly think about what I'm going to do, pop my jab, move my head, and be fast, and think about the display of damage that I'm going to give to the opponent. And he has brought a lot of damage to his opponents in his short professional career, which began on March 6th of this year. He is 6-0 with six knockouts. The longest any fight has gone is four rounds. He has three first-round knockouts. We are set for the introduction. So is Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, man your battle stations. In the ring at this time, we have undefeated heavyweights. This bout is scheduled for six rounds. The referee is Joe Cortez. Introducing first in the red corner. He's wearing the white trunks with green trim and weighs 214 and one half pounds. He's from Catskill, New York. Undefeated in six consecutive bouts, all by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike. Tyson and his opponent in the blue corner he's wearing the blue trunks with white trim and weighs 203 and one half pounds from the Motor City Detroit Michigan he is also undefeated in three consecutive bouts with a knockout victory to his credit introducing Lorenzo Kennedy Say athletic commission rules, I'm here to enforce them. When I say break, I want you both to break clean. If there's a knockdown, the fighter's going to knockdown, must go to the farthest neutral corner, remain until they come out. The fighter going down, must take the mandatory eight count. I don't want any rough tactics, and I don't want any fouling or hitting on a break. Understood? All right, shake hands, protect yourselves at all times. Mike Tyson, last fight was July 19th when he knocked out Larry Sims in Poughkeepsie, New York in the third round. Lorenzo Kennedy, last fight, a uh, six-round decision victory on July 25th in Birmingham, Michigan over Vernon Bridges. And look at Tyson go right after Kennedy. Now, Kennedy is a boxer but gets knocked down with a first left hook he takes. Look at the power already from Mike Tyson. Mandatory eight count. Seven. Given by eight. Joe Cortez. Kennedy, little shaky now, takes a right hand. This one could end in a hurry. Kennedy in serious trouble. Now, this is the prototype of Mike Tyson's fights. He comes right at you, and boy, he is blazing when he comes out. See big Mike Tyson come for you. You better head in the other direction in a hurry. Right hand glances off the chin, but it rocked Kennedy. The left hook does it the same. Kennedy's hands are really very low. And Tyson, you, boy, you have to like his, how poised he is right here. He is picking his shots well. He is this one could be over. He's, it is. Joe Cortez stops it. Perfect timing by Joe Cortez. That was right. When he saw that last right hand land, he could just feel the fact that Kennedy would be sagging to the canvas. Boy, Mike Tyson is powerful, huh? Oh, wow. Mike Tyson, he barely built up a sweat. But you know he was warm and ready. He came out fired up. It is 7-0 with seven knockouts. Lorenzo Kennedy's first loss, he looks like he's okay. Being checked out by the doctors. As Al said, he was sagging against the ropes. He was in serious trouble, taking the punishment, and Joe Cortez quickly stepping in and stopping the fight, knowing there's no sense in giving him a standing eight count or anything like that. This one was over. Let's take a peek at the first knockdown. This was, as you said, Sam, the first good left hook that Tyson landed. He dips under, throws this left hook. That's a nice move. Is that a Joe Frazier it left hook? It really is. And you know what's so nice about that was the way the old dipsy doodle. He went under and then came with a really good left hook. Now here's where he had Kennedy against the ropes. Mike Tyson is a terrific finisher. Mm. Keeps his hands moving. Those are good compact punches. Now, 
and uh, Joe Cortez steps in and you have to like even what you saw in this short uh, performance by Mike Tyson his fourth first round knockout out of seven Mike Tyson is one again here's the official time from Michael Buffer ladies and gentlemen referee Joe Cortez stops this bout at one minute and five seconds of the first round for the winner six pardon me seven in a row seven by KO Mike Tyson we barely had time to tell you the story of Mike Tyson, just 19 years old, advised by Customato, born in Brooklyn, living in Catskill, New York, and what a promising heavyweight. 7-0 with seven knockouts. You were so patient when you got him in trouble and you made every punch count. Well, that's what basically me and my um, manager, Custom Auto, was training on from the beginning. You don't have to throw a lot of punches, but every punch you throw, make sure it hurt him. Hit him in the right spot where he's vulnerable at. And that's what I was trying to place the punch. With every punch hit him, he'd be hurt at all times. All right, let's take a look, Mike, at the, the first knockdown. When you hit him with that left hook, and uh, boy, this was a beautiful move. Boom, perfect timing. Usually I hit somebody like that, it was a little bit off balance because I used to I try to graze his chin. Mm -hmm. Some when you graze the chin, it's like a home run. You hit a home run, you don't even feel <laughs> it. And that's the point that usually put him out permanently. Well, uh, now you did that, a great dipsy doodle move. You ducked under his jab and then came up with that left hook and uh, it was outstanding. And I know that's one of many, many things you've been working on. And even in this fight, in the short time, we could see your, your punches were so short and compact, they look great. Well, as you know, um, I'm 19, and I'm just improving. That's not, that's not all I'm doing. There's a lot of other things that I could do very well. And as time comes and I'm learning and the learning stage as I am now, things are going as more and more as I like it to be. It's difficult, isn't it? At 19, you have progressed well, certainly, and you have all this power. It's tough to know who you should be fighting right now. You're fighting journeyman heavyweights as you come up, which is appropriate, but there must be the temptation, I would think, to think, I can fight a better guy quicker than maybe you ought to. Well... I'm good enough to fight some top fighters right yeah. now, but until my manager, Jimmy Jacobs and Bill Caton and Custom Auto decide should, I should fight one of them, then I'd be happy to go along and fight anybody. But at the moment, I have to go. I'm not a fighter that's out. I'm not a freelance agent to say, well, I want to fight him. I got to go by the right. rules. And you know how the business is. You got a boss, too. <laughs> okay, that's true. We all have bosses. Well, right now, you're the boss in this ring, that's for sure. Mike Tyson, a great performance. Mike has an ability to slip punches that has not been seen in the heavy rate ranks or almost any other ranks since Muhammad Ali. It's, uh, it's been a long time since Muhammad Ali at his best when he was able to do that. In his later career he wasn't able to. Um, this is what he has. He's elusive and he's a great, great, great boxer. People do not realize it. And that's what makes Mike Tyson so great and potentially one of the great fighters of all time. Mike Tyson's devastating punch distinguished him very quickly, and after six months on the professional stage, his record stood at seven wins, all by knockout. The boxing world was watching. But was this just a boxer with an extraordinary punch, or was this the next boxing great? The Dynamite Kid's under pressure in the next Tyson Raw and Uncut.